Good ball movement there from North Carolina. They were able to get that player, Morris, wide open on the near side, just threw it into some traffic and had it deflected. Monroe to the middle to Cloutier, can't get it. He's chopped away, and a good job by Monroe to keep it alive. He's checked from behind, falls down, and he is going to see a ground ball battle at best here. And finally, Lafayette able to get it out somehow. It looks like the long stick midfielder for the Leopards able to keep it alive. And now Lafayette trying to set everything up to get it out of the zone before the 30-second clock goes off. So they get it past the stripe. There's Lafayette on the attack now, down one nothing as we're about to captain, sophomore. Kelly getting spun around, somehow keeps possession as he cradles the shot to the middle to Cloutier, and Cloutier, nice save there by Anastas. I thought Kelly should have taken the first shot that he had available, but he worked his way into getting a better look for Cloutier, just a nice stop from the keeper. And Anastas last year had a 13.5 goals against average and went one and had a record of one and 10 as... Good job in the midfield there by Joe Kenna to knock that away. And it looks like... Each here at Keenan Stadium, a place they have been undefeated at since 2012. There's another face-off, won by Charles Kelly. As the ball falls to the turf, Lafayette able to come away with it. Anastas will circle around and set up their scheme. as a deep lob all the way to midfield. As a nice check by the Tar Heels, nearly forced the turnover, and they continue to be physical. Lafayette somehow keeps it. North Carolina right now dominating the play in the middle of the field here, making it very difficult for Lafayette to get forward unless they use these long passes. And there's the outlet and a shot and a goal by Lafayette's Robbie Garavente yeah. found a way to get it down the field quickly and got the goal. And that was a goal that they really needed. 3-0 lead for North Carolina. Finally, the numbers work in favor for Lafayette, and they're able to beat the freshman keeper. Impressive play. Here's the faceoff. It looks like... That'll be Riley Graham this time. Couldn't quite pick it up off the turf cleanly, and Lafayette with a huge face-off win. They can try and run out this man advantage. Tar Heels going to really pressure and try and turn, uh, turn him over. And they're just going to spread it out. There's the long stick. Cloud. Oh, He'll lose there, it. Though. And we'll see who has possession. And put Riley Graham back out for the faceoff. And for Lafayette. See if they can continue what they've done here this afternoon as far as faceoff wins, and they will. Luke Smith, the senior from Bowie, Maryland, gets the faceoff victory. Or it's either. John Becker, I can't quite make out if that's a one or a seven. My apologies there. And there's a turnover right in front of the net. Anastas with a grave mistake there. Timmy Kelly says, okay, I'll take advantage of that. And the Tar Heels. The goalkeeper. Watch here. Didn't really look where he was throwing it. That's not the pass that you want in that situation. And honestly, that's the difference between winning teams and losing teams are, are little plays. And Graham. The adjustments made right now by Graham have been winning these faceoffs the last four in a row yep. have gone to the Tar Heels. And he did everything he could to get the Tar Heels in that situation. Kelly a little off balance on that pass and sailed it. And so Lafayette not giving up by any stretch of the imagination as we're down to 50 seconds here in the quarter. What an absolute pop there by the defender for Carolina. And that was not a very good pass to make there in the midfield. Alex Trippi 